still have time. Yeah, so 17 years of Wolverine in your life. Um, how does it feel to make this movie? Uh, what is your, your feeling doing this, doing Logan? I'm really proud of it. I'm proud of the 17 years. Unbelievably grateful for the journey I've been on. I'd never in a million years did I think it would go on this long. I feel a great debt of gratitude to the fans. <laughs> this movie is a really a love letter to the fans. <laughs> And hopefully also a movie that people have never ever seen a comic book. And it's uh, it's a different look to Wolverine, right? It's a different oh, a yeah. different uh, kind of tone, yeah. Yeah. How how was that for you? Great, because this is the tone I wanted. <laughs> <laughs> we really we'd worked on the Wolverine, the last one together, which I was really proud of. But we both had sort of edged around the idea of doing something like this. So when we finally got the chance to do it, and thank you, Fox, for allowing us to do <laughs> it, really Fox. thank you. I mean, it's a big risk for them. It exceeded my expectations. Yeah. I'm really happy. Cool. I'm really super proud of it and super happy, and it's one I will hold in my heart forever. And are you excited to see the fans' reactions? I always <laughs> go, not always, but most of the time on the fr first Friday night it's released, I sneak in the back and I watch <laughs> it with fans, because I think it's important to see yeah. how it plays with the real fans. I've never been so as, ex as excited as this one because I, from talking with fans who've seen it, they're like, this is the Wolverine movie we've waited for. Stop me in the street and tell me, <laughs> no, literally tell me. Like old not school. Not just online. <laughs> not just online. No, literally, hey, cool. man, you're great, but. <laughs> do this. Yeah, yeah do all that. the time. And would you say that this is uh, good for uh, the, the younger audiences that like Wolverine? It's, in a, it's not a kid's movie. Okay. It is an adult movie and it handles the themes of violence and family and aging and dying and love and in a more adult way. I have an 11 year old, so I, you know, I know what they're like. A tricky question. Uh, in 17 years of Wolverine, do you have one favorite scene, one favorite moment in the movies? I have mine. <laughs> there's a movie at the end, uh, there's a scene at the end of this. Ooh. It's a spoiler. It's a spoiler. Yeah. My favorite scene is uh, First Class. Uh, oh, yeah, no, I did love that one. Like, I don't want to curse, but... Yes, yeah. no, my, <laughs> my two or three words that uh, I said. Daphne really uh, stands out in the movie. She's, she's fantastic. How was the work with her? She's amazing. Yeah. I mean, she's a very sort of, in some ways, very ordinary 11-year-old girl. We used to have play dates with my 11-year-old girl. But she's not all. She's a phenomenal actress, and I was very nervous about it. Uh -huh. I said to Jim, I said, I love this idea, this idea of the three generations and this family stuck in a car together, like Little Miss Sunshine. Like, you know, but <laughs> with a lot of blood. How the, with a lot of blood. <laughs> how the hell do we pull it off? Like, yeah. she doesn't say, and again, Yeah, she speaks away. with her eyes. It's amazing. For like it's 90 amazing. minutes of the movie. Yeah. yeah. How would you describe this movie? Uh, how would you say, go watch this movie because of what? This movie, in a way, reminds me of Unforgiven. It's like, it's, I don't think it's defined by a, a genre, being a comic book movie or being anything. It's really a movie about family, uh, with a character at the center who's trying to push family away in every, every way possible. About who we are and trying to live and find peace with our regrets. It's, Treat me it's really us. emotional, right? And it's emotional, thank yeah. you. That's the other word. <laughs> um, you're here in Brazil, and Brazil loves Wolverine. Brazil yeah. loves the X-Men. Yeah. Uh, how is your relationship with the Brazilian fans? Uh, do you talk with them a lot or not? How it's? I've been here a lot. I've been, done some things here outside cool. of film work, and I love coming to Brazil. There's one of my... Uh, uh, all Australians love Brazil. Oh, nice. I don't know if you know that. No, I didn't know. There's a similarity. If it's possible, you guys even know how to party better than us. <laughs> um, and it's even sexier here. There's something about it. It is an amazing cool. place where I think that balance is right. But for me, the fans here, across the board, have been some of the strongest for this series and for the X-Men more than anything. So when we were discussing with Fox where we go, we said we, are going to, we really want to go to Brazil because we haven't been there in a while and those fans have been so loyal and steadfast to us and I really, really hope from the bottom of my heart people here love this movie because it's important to me and I'm really grateful to them. I'm sure they will. Thank you. Man. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. I will make you I will keep myself I would find a way Logan.
till I have time. <laughs>